song. No, no, I remember. I think this was the first ever song that I've listened from, uh, listened to from Skrillex. Call 911 now. No, I remember this. Oh, man, I was looking at a chat. Yeah, if any of you guys are tuning in from uh, Mezzo's gifted sub bomb, yeah, he gifted 100 subs, which was really big. Hello and welcome, guys. I used to listen to this every day when I was like nine. Yo, save! When I was younger, I would always listen to these, uh, to Skrillex's songs. I mean, who did it? Who did it? You know, I'm actually really happy that uh, Beat Saber added the, the Skrillex DLC. It's like a good piece of nostalgia, you know? Nostalgia trip. That I just man, we don't get dubstep songs like these anymore because the dubstep era is over. It we're it's donezos. We've evolved, just like the Beat Saber meta. If dubstep got revived, it would be it would be Skrillex. Man, I don't know though. That's the thing. Like dubstep, I think I think a lot of people don't make dubstep songs anymore. Like I'm pretty sure Skrillex doesn't really make dubstep songs anymore, right? He just kind of like I mean, he still produces EDM songs, but it's just not specifically dubstep, right? Temanite does really. And if you think about it, like, it felt like 2010 was a huge giant party with these kinds of songs, you know what I mean? I legit would blast this song from my phone. I would blast my volume up to 100%. And just jam out to it all day. I would be in my bedroom after school and just like listening to Skrillex all day. <laughs> Do it now? But it's not the same. That's the thing. It, like, listening to these songs, listening to uh, old school dubstep nowadays, it's just like a nostalgia trip. I used to think that dubstep was like the superior genre. Like I used to think this is the end all be all genre. We have hit end game with music. That's what I thought. <laughs> but apparently we did not hit end game content with music yet. Everyone did though. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, like I said, dubstep just kind of died. 